looking at the initial page called the portal page. A couple things on this page that I'd like to point out to you before we go too far. First is the area titled Ask a Question About Focus, and you see click here. This is the best way to get in touch with IET if you have any problems at all with any of the technology on campus. It's tied here to focus, so if you have a focus question, you can do that. But you can also ask additional questions about anything tech related. Clicking on that link right there will bring up a window, and that window will let you describe your problem. The one thing I do ask that you do in this is please give us your student's name and your name as well just to help us out as we're looking for what the problem would be. You can go down to the subject line, give us a subject, and you can put in your email address as well so that we know how to get back in touch with you. This will create an RFS with us that we can respond to you. It will happen via email and you will get a feedback from a real person uh, trying to solve your problem. So when you're done there, you'd click Submit Query and it would actually send in the RFS and give you a, an email confirmation. So that's Ask a Question About Focus. You can see along the top, there's a set of menus, school information, my child, my information, billing, and assignments and grades. You see a place in the middle for general messages, and you see we've got a reminder about updating emergency contact info on this screen. And then on the right-hand side, upcoming events on the school events calendar will show up. In the main part of the window where it's titled Featured Programs, you see a list of your student's schedule. In this case, I'm looking at a middle school student, so they have a Bible homeroom class and then periods one through seven. It lists the teacher and class name for each period. It also shows a grade for each of those classes. And then on the right side of that, you'll see check boxes next to email addresses for each teacher. You can use those to email the teacher. Below the classes, you see an absences link and a calendar link, as well as check boxes in order to email attendance or the principal, and that's high school or middle school specific. First things first, let me take you through the classes here. So I'm gonna click on Mr. Masaryk's sixth grade social studies class. This is gonna show Mr. Masaryk's online course. So take a look. You can see that he's got some pictures up here and a number of handouts. Teachers will be placing their handouts here. This way students can get to them from their iPads. Uh, parents can also see what things were handed out in class, and it makes it easy for the child to recover their handouts if they should happen to lose them. Of course, we know children don't do that. To go back to Focus, I will click on the Focus link, and it will reload the portal page. Each of these links for the classes will take you to that class's online course. Every class at Monta Vista has its own unique online course. Next to that, you see the grades. This shows you the grade in the class, but better than that, you can actually click on the grade itself and it will take you to a gradebook view showing you each of the assignments in this column. Then it will show how many points were earned and how many points the assignment was worth in the second column. The third column gives you a traditional percentage and letter grade. Any comments from the teacher may show up in that fourth column. The next two columns show you when the assignment was officially assigned and also when it's due. The second to last column shows you which category that assignment is in. So you can get a pretty good overview of how your student is doing. If you'd like to know why your student's grade is what it is, you can start here and this way you're able to ask a more informed question of the teacher if you decide it's even necessary to contact them. This here is the exact same information that the teachers are looking at. Up at the top, you'll see the categories, in this case, assignments and tests and quizzes. You see how they're weighted to create the final grade. And then you see the grades in each category. So yes, in this class, this particular student had a 94% A, but you can see they have 100% in their assignments, but a B plus in their tests and quizzes. Those two grades combine to give a 94% A. That's the grade book view. Returning to the portal page, we can now look at the next column over, the teacher's emails. Now, yes, you can just copy the teacher's email address and send them an email from the email program of your choice, and that's fine. However, if you're in a place where that's not something that you are comfortable doing, you can also just click on the checkbox next to the email address, then scroll down. It hides off the bottom of the page, so it's easy to forget this. Scroll down, and you will see that there is a form for filling out the email. 
Now you can choose your email address. You've got a CC, so if you wanted to send a copy of this email to a spouse or a family member or even the student, you can type in any email address there. You've got a checkbox to CC yourself, and then you have the actual body of the message, and this is where you type your email. And then you would click the Submit button to send that email to the teacher. They would get it like a regular email and respond, and the response would go to your email address. Now, there isn't a place to check what emails you have sent, but like I said, if you CC yourself, then you will get a copy of this email, and the teacher should respond in a timely manner. So, we've gone over online course, we've gone over grades, we've gone over email. Down here, I want to show you this link to calendar. This is a great way to look to see an overview of all the assignments that your child has had. This doesn't show you grades, it shows you, like it says, a calendar view. So let's check that out. This pulls up the current calendar and you can see the current date highlighted there. This is all the assignments and all of the courses for this student. Looking forward, I can see that this student has a quiz on Friday. If I click on this link, it will pull up a separate window so I can see the details of the assignment. There I see the date, I see the teacher and the course, and whatever notes there may be for that assignment. This is a quick one-stop way to view all upcoming assignments. Now, of course, this only shows assignments that are entered into the grade book, and so if there's an assignment that is not going to be graded, it may not show up in this view.